Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily Freibler. So today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you this glowy makeup tutorial. It's more of like a natural glam glowy tutorial look and I really, really love it. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to start out I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Pore, Minimi Pore Minimizing Primer. I can't speak today so hopefully this video goes okay. It does have like a purple tint to it and I have been using this the last few days and I really like it. It's kind of silicone-y feeling. It's not the most like poor minimizing primer I've ever used, but I do find that I think it keeps me a little bit less oily throughout the day, which is good since we're using more like luminous things on the skin. I need to make sure that my T-zone doesn't get super duper oily. And I'm also gonna put on the perimeters of my face. I know I look super duper shiny right now, but it should go down a little bit. I'm gonna use the Milani Prep and Brighten Rose Face Oil. And this I'm only using on the perimeters of my face. I just do about three dots in my palm of my hand and work it around my hands. And then I just pat it on the perimeter. This obviously isn't a necessary step, but I just, I like it and I've been using it quite a bit lately. For our foundation, I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I mix two shades just because this allows me to get it when I'm tan and when I'm fair. So I have M3, which is Classic Tan, and Ivory L2, and I'm just gonna mix those on a glass. Ah, I'm gonna mix those on my glass palette. Okay, and then I'm just gonna dot it on my face once I get the desired color. And then I'll start blending it with a brush. So I really love this foundation has good coverage but looks really skin-like. And then also it is really luminous as well. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this all over the face and try and get like a really fresh coverage and just make it look as natural as possible. So I just try and go in with a light amount of product so that I'm not going overboard. My hair is driving me nuts, so I'm gonna put a headband on. All right, so the foundation is all on. Obviously, the coverage looks really nice. It's not like super full coverage, but it's it's good coverage. So we're gonna go into the Maybelline Master Conceal now for concealer. Obviously, I look super duper glowy, but we are gonna put powder on because I wanna be glowy, but like <laughs> this is like wet, you know? I have this in the shade Light Medium, I believe, and I'm just gonna put this in the middle of the face. I'm just gonna blend this out with a sponge. I like this concealer because the coverage is really nice. Um, you can use whatever concealer you want. I haven't been into like the super bright under eye lately, so this is what I've been gravitating towards. Okay, then to set everything, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I have mine in the shade Fair Light. And to keep everything nice and glowy, I am gonna use my sponge and I just dip it in here. And then to make sure there's not too much powder, I'll just go on the back of my hand and then go underneath the eyes. Using a sponge is just gonna keep that moisture in and then also really help it meld with the skin. So if you can see that, doesn't look as flat matte as some things. I mean, this powder is really nice for that too. It's not like a super drying powder. So that's another reason why I like to use this powder with these types of looks. It really keeps that moisture in. So yeah, I just keep dipping in and then I'll go on the back of my hand. And you can obviously grab some from the back of your hand as well. So I'll just go back in and grab a little bit more. And then go in with the powder. Okay, so I haven't really put any powder right here. So I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Euphoric Gold Liquid Highlight. I love this stuff so much. It is stunning. And so I'm going to go in with a little bit of this. Just put some on my palette here. Take the side of the sponge that we haven't used any powder on and then go in with this highlight. It is so beautiful. I just, I love this highlight so much. And then of course it's gonna look super luminous because we're using a liquid highlight. Doesn't look powdery on the skin. Just looks really, really glowy, which obviously I love. And I like making this C shape on the face as well. You see how glowy that is? Oh, I love it. 
Then for the rest of the face, I do want to set it so that we can put some bronzer and stuff on. But again, I'm not going to put a ton of powder because we want to keep that really luminous glow. So I'm going to take a little bit of powder on this Eco Tools brush and tap off the excess and then lightly set that area. I try and go around where we put the liquid highlight just because this powder has a little bit of sheen to it and I don't want it to, or not sheen, it has a little bit of color to it. I don't want it to really dye that down. If I do want to dye it down a little bit, I'll just go over a tiny bit. Um, Because, I mean, it is pretty blinding. So if you don't like that blinding of a highlight, um, then you could go over it a little bit. For bronzer, I'm going to take this bronzer from L'Oreal. I believe this is still available. This is their Glam Bronze Bronzer in the shade Light. Ah, forgot that it broke. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this on this Equal Tools brush. And then lightly pat it on the sides. This just has like a light sheen to it. So it's going to add to the overall glow. If this isn't available, I would use something like this. It's the Collab Bronzer. This one is matte, but it's a very similar shade. This is in the shade Major. I probably will use a little bit of that over top to show you guys what that looks like. So I do believe this might have been unlimited edition. Now I'm going to go into the Collab Beauty Bronzer. This is in the shade Major. And I just lightly dust it on the face. For blush, I'm going to, of course, use a glowy blush. And this is from Milani. This is one of their uh, baked blushes in the shade Rose De Joro. I never had, know how to say that. Joro? I don't know. But we're going to go in with this. It's like a rosy bronze color. And I'm just using this Wet n Wild. I believe this is called their contour brush. I'm going to go in with a little bit of this. I love this color for fall. It's really pretty. And it just adds a little bit of that kind of bronzy, rosy shade. And I just kind of go in and blend it a little bit as well. Okay, then I'm just going to do my brows real quick. This is the Catrice Eyebrow Filler. I'm just going to put a little bit of this through the brows. Okay, I'm going to try and contour my nose because I've been really curious to actually try and contour it for real. This is the Smashbox Drawn In Decked Out Palette. I don't believe this is available anymore, but I'm hoping they bring it back for holiday season because I love it so much and I know you guys would too. And I just love using it. So I'm going to use this and take this light um, shade in the palette. Okay, so I just contoured my nose. And I don't know if I like it or not because it looks very different. And I don't know if it's too harsh or not. So hopefully it's not so that I can actually like use this video. All right, for the inner corner, I'm just going to take a little bit more of that highlight we did on the face, and I'm just going to pat a little bit in the inner corner. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the Collab Bronzer and just put that through the crease of the eye. This is an Essence brush, by the way, and I really like it. kind of freaked out by my nose my nose contour right now it's a little weird just weird seeing me like this okay and then I'm gonna use the covergirl lash primer I really like this stuff and then I'm gonna use the koki lip liner in warm nude just to line the lips while my mascara dries Then to finish off the lips, I'm going to use the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in the shade Champagne. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise on top of that lash primer.
And then for the final step, we're gonna use the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist, just to hydrate the face, obviously. This is just gonna make it nice and glowy. I love that spray so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and on Friday is coming an Amazon clothing haul for you guys, which I'm really excited about. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.